Selena Gomez disses Donald Trump at the Grammys after party. Katy Perry shades Britney Spears on the red carpet. Ooh, and where the heck was Justin Bieber during the Grammys? All that and more on today's rundown. Today's episode of DHR is brought to you by Intuit TurboTax. Relax, there's TurboTax. Wow, things are getting pretty crazy at Kylie's New York City pop-up shop, and we're gonna break that down for you later. I wanna be there, but uh. first, we have to talk about Bella Hadid, who's on the cover of Teen Vogue, and guess what, guys? She's dishing about her breakup from the weekend for the first time. So, Erin, yeah. she was very candid in this interview about her relationship. You have to hear what she said. So she pretty much said that it was my first breakup, and it was so public, as an outsider, you might think I handle it so well, but it's always in your heart and you always feel it very heavily. It'll be hard for a while, love hurts, but you have to pull through. Um, now, while her struggle is amplified by the fact that The weekend seemed to move on quickly to Selena Gomez, uh, she did say that I'll always respect him and I'll always love him. Sometimes you wanna be sad about it or handle it differently, but at the end of the day, you never want to burn a bridge that you fought so hard mm. to build. Yeah, I mean, just bravo to her. Very wise words. I yeah. love that this is in Teen Vogue. A lot of teenagers are gonna read this. Great advice on how to break up delicately in a classy way. I could have taken a couple of tips from Bella Hadid <laughs> on that. Um, but I, I'm going to say this, and I, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Okay. You know that about me. Really? But I have this feeling that The Weeknd and Selena are a PR thing. I have a feeling that they aren't actually dating. And maybe that's why she was able to not burn the bridge, because she's like, oh, I know. It was, like, set up. Yeah. I don't know. I really like Bella. I've come to really love her in 2017. She might be my favorite Hadid. Oh. Might, oh, it's close. Maybe, maybe. All right, Emil and I have been talking about the Grammys for weeks and it finally <laughs> happened last night and it wasn't a big letdown, thankfully. It was a great show, we yeah. had so much fun. I was able to go, but I had to come back to the studio to work because you guys are our priority. Uh, but it was a really cool show and we were doing a whole recap of what happened in another video, but there were a couple of moments that we missed that I wanted to just bring up quick. Quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> so Selena Gomez, speaking of, she actually wore a uh, jean jacket to Rihanna's Grammys after party instead of a dress, and the jacket read, God bless nasty women. And while we didn't get to see Selena and The Weeknd on the red carpet together, we were hoping for that. The couple was seen heading into an after party in the same car. So on the red carpet, Katy Perry, she was making some jokes. She made several hair jokes on the red carpet, and then with Ryan Seacrest, she actually joked about her comeback and managed to possibly diss Britney Spears. Yeah, that's called taking care of your mental health. And how'd that go? Oh, fantastic. Did you have to address? And I haven't shaved my head yet. So some people are saying she's shading Britney. Some people are saying that she didn't mean anything mean by it. What do you think? Um, it's, it's, so here's, <laughs> It's a touchy issue because you never want to cross the line and offend people who may be dealing with mental health issues, mm. right? And we all know that with Britney Spears' breakdown, when she did shave her head, she was going through a lot at that time. Yeah. For me, I don't take offense because I shave my head every two days, <laughs> and it's very therapeutic, but it is not because I'm having to break down. I just keep it short. <laughs> However, I will say... I, I, it happened so, so long yeah. ago, and, and Britney has come out of it better than ever. I think if Britney had never really come out of that and she kind of disappeared from the spotlight, I feel like it would have been much more sensitive and much for, more mean-spirited. Yeah. But this, I think, I'm sure Katie and Britney know each other. I don't even think, if you really, if you watch it multiple times, I don't actually think she was shading Britney. She was just making like a joke. Like, yeah. there was nothing. And Katie has an edgy personality, yeah. and I don't think she ever means anything mean by stuff stuff like this, so I'm trying to give her a pass. Yeah. She just had a big comeback week, you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to give her Can't one free pass. Already. And speaking of Ryan Seacrest, also on the red carpet, he got to chat with J-Lo and boldly asked her about Drake, and she wouldn't confirm or deny anything, but things got a little awkward when she had to answer. Erin, I was cringing. Of course, I love Drake. Um, he's so brilliant, talented. Um, he's just amazing. And you spent some time together. Yes, we did. We did. Tell us about that. Yeah, we made a we made a song together and um... creative sparks. <laughs> So she didn't make eye contact. She called him a boy, which makes me think that things are over between them because he's older than Casper Smart. Yeah. 
And if she's calling him a boy, maybe he was doing boy-like things and was part of the reason why they broke up. But you could definitely tell she was trying to avoid the inevitable. I mean, kudos for Ryan for even going there and being that bold. And he tried to keep it going, like asking about the music they were working on. Yeah. I'm just like, abort, abort, abort. Well, they're also friends. They work together yeah. on American Idol. So yeah. I think he felt comfortable being able to bring that up to her. Well, because this isn't the first time he's done something like this with a friend. Like, I remember uh, Ariana Grande. Yes. So it's like, which I think was also set up ahead yeah. of time, so he, by he, the way. He has these moments, and I kind of like that he can just. Do it. Just do it. Only Ryan Seacrest. Right. Goals. So guys, a lot of you may have been wondering, where was Justin Bieber last mm. night? He was nominated and he did not attend. And remember a couple weeks ago, uh, TMZ was saying that he didn't think that the Grammys were um, young enough. and Or relevant. Really relevant. Yeah, mm -hmm. so now we know what he was doing during the Grammys and it <laughs> he didn't miss a lot. Instead of attending, Beads grabbed sushi by himself, and during the Grammy broadcast, he went live on Instagram to tell fans he was riding around town, and he's been feeling sick for three weeks. And during a live stream, he also jokingly said the weekend Star Boy is his favorite song right now, followed by a sarcastic laugh. Another dig at Selena's new man, see it for yourself. Favorite song at the moment? Um... Star Boy by the weekend. <laughs> so when he went live, I'm gonna have to make a confession. What did you watch it? I did because like we we get our stories here and people make notes and so one of the producers put a note in Basecamp where we get our stories and said Justin Bieber's live and I was like oh and I went on my Instagram <laughs> and I kept leaving all these comments like hey Justin love you, you. were you thirst queen I love you so much he did not respond of course not no <laughs> no he, he probably didn't respond at all but what do you think about him still bringing up the weekend listen I we all know Justin Bieber is the king of pop headlines he loves to be in the headlines he loves people to talk about it and he wasn't at the Grammys last night, so what else would we say if he hadn't said something about The Weeknd or Selena Gomez? Like, what, we wouldn't be talking about this. So um, I think he did this purposefully. I mean, come on, the timing, come yeah. on. And also, you know, I think he's a little bitter, and I think he wants Selena to know that he's bitter about it. And um, I don't know, it's very immature. But you know what? Good for, good for Justin. Actually, I'm kind of with Justin on what I did. Like, I know we went to the Grammys and worked, but if I had a choice, I'd be eating sushi alone. <laughs> All right, James Corden killed it last night at the Grammys, but he always really kills always. it, especially with Carpool Karaoke, one of my favorite segments of all time. But now that segment has been turned into a series and it's launching very soon. And we have a little teaser of the show and Ariana Grande makes an appearance. Will Smith makes an appearance. I am so excited for this show. Oh, hell no. I mean, timing is everything, you guys. It, this teaser debuted right after the Grammys last night. Of course, we mentioned Mil Will Smith and we mentioned Ariana Grande, but also Alicia Keys is in this and John Legend. It's so celeb jam packed. James is actually executive producing the series, which is a spinoff, of course, from the Late Late Show segment. And it's going to be exclusive to Apple Music. So you got to get on board with Apple Music if you want to see this. You know, all this original programming, I can't, but I am definitely going to have I mean, to watch I can't, this. I can't keep up it's with all the different things I have to subscribe to. It's crazy. Uh, oh, this is your big moment. This yes. is the moment you've been waiting for yes. all day. Kylie yes. Jenner's pop-up uh, shop. So first of all, when she had her pop-up shop yes. in LA, of course, I was in line. I had to go. He got me a got shirt. Yes, we had to get some merch. So sweet. Um, and I want to go to New York so bad to do this pop-up shop, but I can't because I have to work here and talk about it. However, guys, there is a line outside. Fans were going crazy, of course. Fans flooded to her new pop-up shop that opened this morning at 10 a.m. I mean, thousands of people arrived crowding the streets to the point that cops have had to block off the street with more than 2,500 people gathered outside, some of whom have been waiting since 5.30 a.m. Hollywood Life reported that only 10 to 12 people are being allowed to enter the pop-up shop at a time, and security guards have already had to turn away more than half of the line who braved the freezing. Wow. 
wow. New York City weather to wait outside. That's ridiculous. This it, is ridiculous. I know you love Kylie Jenner and I know you love her products and her merch and I do too, but you could not pay me money to stand in line in the cold with thousands of people just to get a lip kit. Not interested. I got things to do, places to go, people to see. I mean, I waited maybe like 30 minutes in the LA line, but and then they in a mall. People, I know, outside in the winter. And you had, if I was waiting in line and I, they were like, oh, okay, sorry guys, you're gonna have to go home. <laughs> No, like, no. <laughs> Not interested. Also, they only let 10 to 12 people in at a time. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And they're doing that on purpose just so that we're talking about it today. You know what? I'm kind of mad that we're talking about it now. <laughs> it's working. Ugh. In addition to that, it is New York Fashion Week, and Kylie and her boyfriend, Tyga, were seen leading the Alexander Wang February 2017 show Saturday night, where they unveiled their fresh manes. Kylie debuted a bang, shaggy, wet look, while Tyga had some fresh shaved waves in his hair. So cute. All right, guys, what did you think about Justin Bieber not attending, and did you watch his live stream like I did? And were you thirsty like a meal he in the comments? <laughs> did he respond to any of you out there? <laughs> Let us know. Also, did you watch the Grammys. What were your favorite moments? What do you think about all this shade throwing on the carpet? Do you think JLo and Drake are done? Were they ever a thing to begin with? Let's chat all about it in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching our show, and I guess we'll be back here tomorrow. Yes. God okay. willing. <laughs> for more, click left to see Katy Perry shading Taylor Swift. Or click right for Selena dishing on her stint in rehab for the first time. This episode is brought to you by Intuit TurboTax with live on-demand help. When you need it, relax. There's TurboTax.